That was funny. That was funny. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny, that was funny, that was funny. <laughs> oh my goodness oh my goodness Performance materiality, the amount or amount set by the auditor at less than materiality for the financial statements. And then, uh, to reduce to an appropriately low level.
the probability that the aggregate of uncorrected and undetected uncorrected and undetected misstatements exceeds materiality for the financial statements as a whole. So Um, maybe the meaning of this is that material, the level of materiality is this, but because the audit cannot, cannot catch every single mistake that is made, we will set the level of materiality to a lower level to account for all the undetected mistakes. That's kind of the gist of it, actually, isn't it? I just understood that. Okay. And that was funny. And that was funny. <laughs> so number nine and then A one. Three hundred and thirty. Three hundred and thirty. A substantive procedure is an audit procedure designed to detect material misstatements at the assertion level. Substantive procedures comprise the test of details, classes of transactions, account balances, and disclosures. <laughs> and substantive analytical procedures. An audit substantive procedure, an audit procedure designed to detect Material misstatements at the assertion level and test of controls. An audit procedure designed to evaluate the operating effectiveness of controls in preventing or detecting and correcting material misstatements at the assertion level. Then six, seven. The auditor should design and perform further audit procedures whose nature, timing, and extent are based on and are responsive to the assessed risks of material misstatement at the relevant assertion level.
Um, um, twelve. If the auditor obtains audited evidence about the operating effectiveness of controls, Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Number 18 through 20. Substantive procedures. Irrespective of the assessed risks of material misstatement, the auditor should design and perform substantive procedures for all relevant assertions related to each material class of transactions, account balance, and disclosure. The auditor should consider whether external confirmation procedures are to be performed as substantive audit procedures. The auditor should use external confirmation procedures for accounts receivable, except when one or more of the following is applicable. The overall account balance is immaterial. External confirmation procedures for accounts receivable would be ineffective. The auditor's assessed level of risk from, of material misstatement at the relevant assertion level is low and the other planned substantive procedures address the assessed risk. In many situations, the use of external confirmation procedures for accounts receivable and the performance of other substantive procedures are necessary to reduce the assessed risk of material misstatement to an acceptably low level. What is it? Management's description of a service organization system and a service auditor's report on that description and on the suitability of the design of controls. A report that comprises management's description of the service organization's system, a written assertion by management of the service organization. about whether in all material respects and based on suitable criteria management description of the service organization system fairly presents the service organization system that was designed and implemented as of a specified date. The controls related to the control objectives stated in management's description of the service organization system were suitably designed. To achieve those control objectives as of a specif the specified date, a service auditor's report that expresses an opinion on the matters. Management's description of a service organization system and a service auditor's report on that description and on the suitability of the design and operating effectiveness of controls. A report that comprises management's description of the service organization system. 
A written description by management of the service organization about whether all, in all material respects and based on suitable criteria, management description of the service organization's system fairly presents the service organization's system that was designed and implemented throughout the specified period. The controls related to the control objectives stated in management's description of the service organization system were suitably designed throughout the specified period to achieve those control objectives. The controls related to the control objectives stated in management description of the service organization system operated effectively throughout the specified period. To achieve those control objectives, a service officer report that expresses an opinion on the matters and includes a description of the service auditor's tests of controls and the results thereof. <laughs> the service organization is an organization or segment of an organization that provides services to user entities that are relevant to those user entities internal control over financial reporting. They perform services that are relevant to those user entities internal control over financial reporting. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, yes. Oh my god. <laughs> This statement is a difference between the reported amount, classification, presentation or disclosure of a financial statement item, and the amount, classification, presentation, or disclosure that is required for the item to be presented fairly in accordance with the applicable financial reporting framework. Corrected misstatements, misstatements, and the auditors that communicate during the audit and then not be corrected. The auditor should determine whether the overall audit strategy and the audit plan need to be revised if the nature of identified misstatements and the circumstances of their occurrence indicate that other misstatements may exist. That when aggregated with misstatements accumulated during the audit, could be material. Or the aggregate of the statements accumulated during the audit approaches materiality determined in accordance with section 230 320. Communicate on a timely basis with the appropriate level of management. All misstatements accumulated during the audit, the auditor should request management to correct all the misstatements. And then management corrected them and then perform more procedures to determine whether they they remain. If they refuse to correct misstatements, then obtain an understanding of their reasons Determine whether uncorrected misstatements are immaterial. Ow. The amount below which they will be regarded as clearly trivial misstatements. Wait, where's the part about clearly trivial? Did I skip it?
all misstatements accumulated during the audit, whether they have been corrected, and the auditor's conclusion about whether uncorrected misstatements are material, individually or in the aggregate, and the basis for that conclusion. Materiality number, or I mean clearly trivial number, all the misstatements, and whether the misstatements are material. Why is... Accumulate misstatements except for those that are clearly trivial. Oh. Wow. Materiality. All the small stuff we're not catching indicates material. And stuff that is in between this and this indicates a material weakness. Stuff in here indicates a significant deficiency. Performance, materiality, clearly trivial too. 5% materiality. That was funny. 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 That was